Hi. Um, okay, so I have this primer. I'm Alex, by the way, just in case you didn't know, blah, 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 all the things. Um, I received this primer in PR. This is from Peter Thomas Roth. It's the Instant Firm X No Filter Primer. So when I opened up the, the uh, box, the PR box, it had like, it was very pretty. It's all like silver and whatever. It had all the claims. I feel like they're always the same. It's like blurs the appearance of fine lines, um, pores, imperfections, blah, 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 whatever. Like it al is always basically like, we're gonna make your face look perfect, right? I've been kind of dipping into primers recently to try and find one that works. I typically just use moisturizer, but recently I've been feeling like it kind of hasn't been giving me like the finish that I've, that I'm looking for. Hold on, my lips are really dry. Auric Blush Ritual, always. Bare, my favorite. So I was like, okay, cool, sounds nice. I've always liked Peter Thomas Roth. I love their masks. Um, then I started reading the directions and I was like, what? So the little description is no filter primer, instantly tightens, firms, and blurs the look of skin, temporarily minimizing the appearance of fine lines and pores. For flawless makeup application, universal self-adjusting tint leaves skin appearing smooth and even toned, easy to use for everyday wear and suitable for all skin types, even those with less advanced signs of aging. Directions, shake well. For best results, sparingly apply a thin layer to freshly cleansed dry skin. And I was like, ew. Remain expressionless. What? Product will dry within three to seven minutes. When your face feels pulled and tight, continue with the makeup application. And I was like, what? So I don't know if you guys have seen, I feel like I've seen it on TikTok, on um, Facebook. There's all these like really stupid viral like videos of people with like, I don't know, under eye bags or like saggy eyelids or something. And they'll apply this thing. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, perfect, smooth and flawless. It's bull, right? Like it's bull. So this was confusing. I don't know. I feel like I've tried controversial primers in the past. So I thought we would give this a shot. So I'm gonna be applying this today, doing a full face of makeup and I'm gonna wear it throughout the day and we're gonna see what is up. So I'm gonna give it a good shake. I did, it said down here, the effects of instant firm, blah, 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 works best on clean, dry skin. If you require additional hydration and must use a serum or moisturizer, allow the products to fully absorb and dry before applying this. So I am, not able to function without moisturizer, especially after washing my face. So this morning I applied my Aven Clean and Hydra moisturizer, but I used a very small amount. And that was like 30 minutes ago. So typically when you see me, I feel like I'm looking pretty wet, you know, like I am hydrated. I think we have like a pretty basic skin texture going on right now. It says to use it sparingly. So I'm gonna put little dots. Probably zoom you in. I wanna put little, it is like kind of a flesh, flesh toned color. If you can see that, I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put some little dots around my face. And I wanna put this everywhere, including my cheeks. I'm gonna smooth it under my eyes. I'm gonna do it on my neck. I don't know how much to apply. I feel like tiny little dots is the best. You know, I don't wanna go in with too much. I feel like it'll just end up becoming like plasticky. It does feel nice. It doesn't have a scent. Bro. <laughs> it's pilling immediately. Not all of it is pilling, but I have little, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got little bits. Should I take the moisturizer off? I'm reluctant, but I want, I want to use this to its full effect. You know what? <sighs> I'm gonna take the moisturizer off. I'm just gonna go in with my MAC uh, what are these? MAC Gently Off Wipes. This feels like sacrilege. Taking off precious hydration. All right, I'm just gonna pat dry. I have a paper towel here. All right, round two. <laughs> One thing I did quickly wanna say is I have been stuffed up. I've had a cold, um, so my nose is a little, you might be able to see a little red and raw. So I just wanna keep that in mind when I'm judging the primer um, because I just have a feeling that like this kind of primer is going to intensify that kind of thing. So if we're getting like a lot of peeling down there or something, I just wanna make sure that I keep that in mind. It 
it's kind of hard to smooth over your skin, to be honest. Like it kind of starts to like dry relatively quickly or absorb really quickly. It just feels like it pulls. It's also, it makes it kind of difficult to, to know how sparingly. Oh, right, oh, right. And then I'm supposed to remain expressionless. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, I'm just patting. I'm gonna do seven minutes so that it's legit, but I have to just not move now. <clears throat> Ready, everybody? Okay, my face definitely feels pulled and tight, but not in a good way. Like, I feel like I can't move my face. It feels like when your skin barrier is damaged. <laughs> like, I feel like I can't smile fully. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. It does look very, like, smooth, but... Oh, let me zoom you way the fuck in, dude. This area here... Sorry, it always loves to focus on just my nose. I don't know why. This area here is like so shiny and dry looking, you know, like there's just like, I don't, I feel like it highlights my pores more <laughs> than when I don't have some crazy thing on my face. Same with um, my forehead, like there's this area up here of my forehead where it just makes it look like I have very dry skin. I don't know, let's just, um, try to move my face around, <laughs> it feels really weird. <clears throat> I definitely feel like I can't move my mouth fully. All right, well, let's start applying makeup. Um, like what happens if I like make faces? I don't know. Um, all right, I'm going to, I'm not entirely sure. I typically like apply foundation with a sponge, but um, I just kind of feel like the moisture from the wet sponge is gonna like mess stuff up. So I'm gonna try applying foundation with a brush. I guess I usually do a color corrector first. Uh, I'm gonna do my, where is it? Yeah, it just feels dry. It just feels dry, I don't know. Most, it's funny, because most primers are like about hydration. I'm gonna use a little bit of my LA Girl Pro Conceal in light ivory underneath my eyes. Ruffer 33 brush. Okay, well surprisingly so far, it doesn't like look cakey and dry, but I still feel like I can't move my mouth fully, which is like pretty unattractive. Let's do foundation. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with my Armani Luminous Silk foundation because my face feels dry <laughs> and I need some hydration. So we'll see how this goes. Does my face not look super weird? Like I feel like I can't move it. I don't, <laughs> I don't like it. So I'm going to apply this. Uh, so I'm gonna apply this with my Refer 33, I mean, sorry, 37 brush, which is something I don't do. I don't apply foundation with a brush ever, so. Maybe on this side I'll do a brush and then on this side I'll do a damp sponge. Actually, that's a good idea. She's got good ideas every once in a while. Sometimes she remembers how to be a YouTuber. It's not often, but sometimes it happens. So far foundation seems to like blend over it pretty nicely. It did say just to like, once it's dry, just to go in and apply your makeup like regularly. So. I don't know, maybe a sponge would be fine. Hmm, that actually looks pretty nice. I'm gonna build that up a little bit. Hmm, this foundation is a little bit light, but that's okay. Mm, we have some patchy areas, patchy dry areas. Let me grab my sponge and do this uh, uh, really quick and then we'll do this side. So same foundation, just uh, using my damp for a sponge. And this just feels like the moisture will kind of like break down the product. I don't know. We'll see. It does feel better <laughs> having a little bit of extra moisture on this side. Mm. It looks better on this side for sure. So my skin's got a little bit more hydration. I'm gonna build that up a little bit. Cause I just have more hydration on this side. So my skin looks less like tight and pulled, but it just makes me feel like, is the primer working or doing what like it was intended to, you know? All right, before I zoom in and we really take a look, let me apply, <laughs> it looks so funny. 
This foundation is like a little bit light. Um, I need more moisture on my lips though. I'm just gonna apply um, some concealer so we can kind of see how like those first two steps in a base would actually look. So I'm gonna use the Tarte uh, Ultra Creamy Concealer. This is, or Shape Tape Ultra Creamy. This is light sand. So once again on this side, using a brush. I don't know why I always film on trash day. <laughs> I, every day, I don't know. I need to learn. And on this side, I'm using my damp uh, top of my Elsie sponge. Oh, that clicking sound. So on this side, where we applied with a brush, I don't know how well you can see up here, if that's even in focus. It's very difficult filming by myself. Um, right up here, there is like a dry patch that it's kind of clinging to. Um, kind of difficult to tell if that's because there's just a little too much primer there, you know, and it did, wasn't fully blended. Um, I did notice that like some of the primer got into my hair and kind of created like a gross, like plasticky chunk that I had to take out that like really hurt. Um, on my nose, right here, there is again, like a big chunk of product just kind of like sticking. It's also on this side. So that kind of looks like um, maybe the primer wasn't like fully blended or something. This area still to me just looks like very pulled and tight and it's not blending nicely like here, like right here. It's kind of just like clinging. Kind of the same thing in this area on my cheek. It's like less evenly distributed and my skin just looks to me, it just looks like dry. <laughs> it's like clinging to, can you, I don't know how well you can see that. I'll try to zoom as much as possible, but it's really like clinging to like each pore right in this area. On the side that we use the sponge, I think overall the skin looks a lot better. There's definitely like, it definitely feels better. Like it feels like I can actually move my face. I don't see as much of that like patchiness, like, uh, in this area up here, there's a teeny little bit, but it's not as noticeable. We already knew that like my nose was gonna be a problem in general. Um, so there's a little bit of that, but it's not the end of the world, you know, just like some breaking and stuff over here. I don't see any of that patchiness. Um, well, maybe a tiny, tiny little bit, but I don't see as much of that like clinging to my pores on this side, which is nice. For the concealer under my eyes, because that was one thing I was interested in, especially as I get older, I do have like significant lines underneath my eyes. It doesn't really, like especially on this side, I feel like it's making it look worse than usual. I don't know, you'll have to let me know. It just kind of looks dry and like not, not very attractive to me. This side isn't quite as bad, but um, I don't see any like benefit in other words. Like I don't see any benefit at all. <laughs> like any difference where I'm like, oh my God, my under eyes look so young. You know what I mean? My forehead looks really shiny. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to speed through my face and then we'll uh, see what's up. <sighs> okay, this is the most haphazard makeup look that I've ever done in my entire life. I wasn't planning on like doing this much. Um, mostly because I'm wearing workout clothes right now, but it just kind of, I don't know, I was just picking up random stuff that was on my desk and this happened. So it's definitely not a replacement for an eye primer, <laughs> for sure. Um, I really tried to save the eyes just because I put it on my eyes, so I wanted to see like what was up, you know? But like patchiness all over the place. It took a very long time to try and like get it to even look like this. So don't rely on it, in other words, for that. I'll be honest, Besides the patches that I already showed you on like here, on my nose, up on my forehead, um, and then like obviously the kind of clingy shit that's happening around my nostrils. Ow, Siva. I don't know if you can see her. She just jumped up behind. Do 
Viva. <laughs> I actually don't hate it as much as I thought I would, which is kind of surprising. I didn't have to use, I didn't use any powder other than like, you know, a little bit of um, powder contour kind of just to reinforce what I already put down. It, my skin finish doesn't look bad, honestly. It kind of has all, it's kind of all just sort of like melt, melted into my skin, I guess. Yeah, it's all kind of like melted into my skin. I don't hate it as much as I thought I would, to be honest. I don't like the feeling of dry skin. There is some, like around my smile lines here, where it just kind of looks like older, like the, it's just kind of clinging to the foundation, you know? And then also underneath my eyes, kind of, I get that same feeling, but my under eyes are a mess all the time anyway. So like, who really knows, you know? My forehead doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. So here's the plan. I'm gonna wear this and check in with you periodically throughout the day. It's 12 o'clock now. And yeah, I'm probably gonna take this lip off cause I don't even know why I put it on. It's a nice combo though. It's Maybelline, Gone Grage lip liner, and then MAC Velvet Teddy. It's very pretty, but it's a little too much, you know? Uh, yeah. Look, up. <sighs> um, okay, so it's been a few hours. Surprisingly, the lip is held up. I only ate one time. I have a feeling I'm gonna remove this eye, just so everybody knows. Um, I'll zoom you in in a second. There's a cat on my lap and she refuses to leave. So far, all I've done is um, some editing and, can you get, can you get down? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so far, all I've done is some editing. I did the dishes. I did have to blow my nose one time, but I was careful. Uh, so like a little bit of it came off. I have some stuff on my lips. Um, so I haven't really like talked much or moved my face around a whole lot. I can see like, I don't know, I guess it's like, it kind of looks like oil coming through like here. Not as much as when I go in with like a regular moisturizer though. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by the state of my skin as of right now. It has only been a few hours, but it looks kind of nice. I still have that like collecting of the makeup in my pores on this side, but it has kind of like over time sort of melted into the skin a little bit more. But surprising, well, and I do have like a little bit of settling in a line here. And I don't know, I don't know. I'm not happy with the state of my under eyes. I feel like um, my concealer didn't stay very well. Uh, my, that my color corrector didn't stay very well, that my concealer didn't stay very well. You guys will have to let me know. I can't really tell too much. I kind of feel like the lines underneath my eyes are more defined than usual, but that's something that I'm constantly struggling with is just like keeping my under eyes from looking like crepey. I just feel like hydration is like the most important part of that. So having it under my eyes, I don't really think is a great idea. Other than that, like overall, despite the little like patches and stuff, I'm pretty impressed with the way that my skin looks. And also like, it doesn't feel as dry as I thought it was going to. I definitely thought that I would have, that there would be like a lot of pulling on my skin, that it would feel like just super dehydrated or like really plasticky. They do say to use it sparingly. So I wonder if you use too much, if that kind of thing starts to happen, especially considering it did start to pill when I was wearing a very tiny amount of moisturizer. So even when I was applying it the second time, I did have like a little bit of that stuff build up on my fingers, but it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Okay, let's wrap this up. So, um, I removed my, I removed the majority of the eye makeup just cause it was like too much. Um, my lip is gone. I'll be totally honest with you. I'm, I'm pretty surprised by, I'm surprised by it. I genuinely thought that I was going to go into this hating it. You know, like I just assumed both sides I feel like have worn pretty well. I definitely wasn't able to get like enough coverage over here with the brush. Not as much as I would like, I just prefer the sponge. And I also, I also just kind of feel like um, this side applied better. I don't know. One thing is I do kind of feel like it ate up 
my makeup throughout the day. I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think. I think my skin looks pretty nice. I'm going to give you like a deep zoom so we can kind of just see like everything from, you know, all day wear. Here's my forehead and things. Like overall, my skin looks really nice. It has a little bit of like a, that shine to it that kind of looks like tight, especially over here. It's kind of like a, like a combination of oil coming through and also just that tight, like freshly washed face, damaged skin barrier type feeling. You know what I mean? But as far as settling and stuff, I don't know. I don't have a ton, but yeah, it look, kind of looks like it's eaten up my foundation a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell. The patches are still there. Same deal on this side, that kind of like oil breaking through, but not, not so much that um, is super notice, no, notable. I have had to blow my nose like a few times. So like there was just kind of no getting around to that. I'm actually surprised. I did think it was gonna make like the skin around my nose look a lot more dry and peely. And it didn't really do that very much, which is a bonus. Uh, Cause I just kind of assumed that that would happen. But yeah, also with my concealer, I feel like it ate up my concealer. Like for whatever reason, I just could not get coverage there. And I used a pretty full coverage concealer and a color corrector. Granted, I didn't set with any powder, but that was mostly because I didn't, like my skin didn't look like it needed it. Uh, and I didn't want to make my skin look even more dry. So this stuff retails for $42. Um, it's 30 milliliters, one fluid ounce. So about the size of like a foundation or your typical primer. Overall, oh, I don't think I mentioned this. As far as application with like the rest of my makeup, it did pull a bit, like because my skin felt dry when I was applying it. I'm used to the brush kind of like gliding over my skin, um, especially with creams. So like when I was applying my contour, my cream contour, or blending out my cream um, bronzer, it just kind of like pulled at my skin a bit. The powders blended over it pretty nicely. So there's that difference, which kind of makes sense because my skin's a little bit more dry. You know, when your skin's a little bit more dewy then liquids and powder or uh, liquids and creams are probably gonna blend over it a little bit better. So all in all, I was actually pleasantly surprised by this. I just, I really, I thought it was gonna be an absolute nightmare and I, I don't think that it was. It's not the kind of thing where I've used it and I'm like, oh, this is game changing and I'm gonna use it forever. It's just that my expectations were incredibly low and um, it performed better than I thought it would, basically. Me personally, I don't see any benefit to it. I don't like the idea of applying something that has to be applied without using a moisturizer. Also, I've been inside all day because y if you have to apply it to clean dry skin, then it obviously isn't going to react well with other products. You can't wear sunscreen. So, and we all know that like using a foundation with SPF, you're not going to be applying enough of that to actually give you like sun protection. So I just kind of like, like what am I gonna use this for like a serious night out? But even still, I feel like the finish of my skin, especially after like this amount of time, I don't know. I just feel like I typically, I would typically have a base that would look better when I'm just using like a regular primer or like even just my moisturizer and then setting with a little bit of powder in like, you know, dewy areas. Has anyone tried it? Do you think it's worth it? If you have tried it, it's, I'm glad that I tried it because I was super curious. The, the whole like, inst like instantly tightens and firms and blurs the appearance of fine lines and pores and blah, 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 all that stuff is like, yeah, you put it on and it tightens up your skin. But then as soon as you start applying your makeup, the makeup kind of seems to like break that down. I, uh, my skin doesn't look that different. Definitely not, not better to the point where I would sacrifice wearing a moisturizer for wearing this. Moisturizer or sunscreen for wearing this. That's the conclusion. Uh, you guys let me know what what you think because it's always it, it is kind of different when you're like all up in my face and i can actually like watch the footage through so maybe my opinion will change a little bit i would definitely be interested to hear like what your thoughts are if you've tried it if you want me to try it more <laughs> like if we just want to i don't know give it a few more rounds maybe with different foundations um i can do that but yeah i hope that this was helpful if this was something that you were interested in yeah overall i can't really say like buy it or don't I think it's more like if you were happy with the results or if it seems like it would be something that works for you, then maybe 
it would be worth giving it a shot, but I personally don't really think that it is super worth it just for my needs, you know? Yeah, hopefully this was helpful and uh, let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see next. I'll see you next time.